for engine working on dual cycle compression ratio 10 maximum pressure 70 bar heat supplied 1681 kJ per kilogram at the commencement of compression pressure 1 bar temperature 100 degree celsius find the pressures and temperatures at the various salient points of the cycle and cycle efficiency assume cp is equal to 1.004 kJ per kilogram kelvin and cv is equal to 0 0.7 one seven kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin for air. Let us understand given data with the help of pressure volume diagram of the dual cycle. Compression ratio is given which is equal to 10. We know that the process 1 to 2 is the compression process and the ratio of v1 by v2 is known as compression ratio and its notation is r so we can say that r is equal to 10 maximum pressure if we observe this diagram pressure at point 3 and pressure at point 4 is the maximum pressure so from diagram we can say that p3 is equal to p4 which is equal to 70 bar heat supplied if we observe the process 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 where the heat is supplied at the constant volume as well as constant pressure. So the amount of heat supplied is given 1681 kilojoule per kilogram. At the commencement of compression that means at the beginning of compression that means at this point 1 pressure is given so it is P1. And temperature is also given that is T1. So temperature is given in 100 degree Celsius. So we have to convert it into Kelvin for the calculation. So it is equal to 100 plus 273 and which is equal to 373 Kelvin. So I will write here the unit Kelvin. Now pressure is given in bar. So for the calculation we have to use in Newton per meter square. So which is equal to? 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square. Value of Cp and Cv is also mentioned in the question in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Now which factors we have to find out? We have to find out the pressure at point 2, P2 and P5 because P1, P3, P4 are mentioned in the question. So remaining pressures P2 and P5 we have to find out. We have to also find out the temperature at all the points. So T1 is mentioned in the question. So we have to find out T2, T3, T4 and T5. And we have to also find out the efficiency of the dual cycle. Now we will move for the solution. So first we will write the compression ratio R is equal to V1 by V2. So V1 is equal to R V2. So from this uh, v1, from this relation v1 by v2 is equal to r we can say that v1 is equal to r v2 now if we observe this diagram v2 is known as clearance volume therefore but v2 is equal to vc vc that means clearance volume and swept volume is equal to v1 minus v2 so we will first find out the relation in between swept volume and clearance volume so vs is equal to v1 minus v2 now we will put this value of v1 v1 is equal to r v2 so r v2 minus v2 is equal to r minus 1 v2 but v2 is equal to vc so we can say that vs by vc is equal to r minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 so here is the relation vs is equal to 9 vc so this is the relation in between swept volume and clearance volume now we will find out the value of gamma. So gamma is equal to ratio of specific heats at constant pressure and constant volume that is Cp by Cv and which is equal to 1.4. So gamma value is 1.4 we have to take for the calculation. Now we will first find out this pressure P2 as well as temperature T2. So for that we will consider the process 1 to 2. Now we have V1 and V2 values during the process 1 to 2 we have this ratio V1 by V2. Now there is the relation in between pressure and volume. P2 by P1 is equal to V1 by V2 raised to gamma. 
बट वी वन बाय वी टू इज इक्वल टू आर इज इक्वल टू टेन सो टेन रेस टू गैमा दैट मीन्स टेन रेस टू वन पॉइंट फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट वन देर फोर पी टू इज इक्वल टू नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाई विथ पी वन सो पी वन इज वन इंटू टेन रेस टू फाइव सो पी टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन रेस टू फाइव न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर इन द सेम वे वी विल फाइंड आउट टी टू सो टी टू बाई टी वन इज इक्वल टू वी वन बाई वी टू रेस टू गैमा माइनस वन दैट मीन्स आर रेस टू गैमा माइनस वन सो गैमा माइनस वन दैट इज वन पॉइंट फोर माइनस वन दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर सो टू पॉइंट फिफ्टी वन देर फोर टी टू इज इक्वल टू नाउ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विथ टी वन सो टी वन वी हैव टू कंसिडर इन केलविन दैट इज थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री सो इट्स आंसर इज नाइन थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन केलविन नाउ वी विल मूव टू द प्रोसेस टू टू थ्री टी थ्री बाय टी टू इज इक्वल टू पी थ्री बाय पी टू सो दिस इज अ रिलेशन इन बिटवीन टेम्परेचर एज वेल एज प्रेशर सो पी थ्री इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड पी टू दैट इज वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सो सेवेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट वन सो दिस सेम यूनिट बार बार इज गेटिंग कैंसल्ड एंड दिस रेशो इज टू पॉइंट सेवेंटी एट नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाई विथ टी टू सो टी टू वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एंड वी हैव टू टेक दिस इन केलविन सो टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू सिक्स वन टू पॉइंट एट केलविन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी थ्री टोटल हिट सप्लाइड इज मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन सो दि प्रोसेस टू टू थ्री एंड दि प्रोसेस थ्री टू फोर फॉर दिस टू प्रोसेसेस हिट इज सप्लाइड सो टोटल हिट एडेड दैट इज द प्रोसेस टू टू थ्री प्लस प्रोसेस थ्री टू फोर and this amount is mentioned in the question now how to calculate the heat added during the constant volume that is the heat added during the process 2 to 3 so i will mention here the process 2 to 3 so which is equal to so we have to take the specific heat at constant volume cv multiplied by the temperature difference t3 minus t2 so when we take this then we have to put the value of t3 and we have to put the value of t2 and cv is also mentioned in the question so answer is 1201.6 kJ per kg so this is the heat added during the process 2 to 3 and the heat added during the process 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 is given 1681 kJ per kg now how to calculate the heat added during the constant pressure process that is during the process 3 to 4 so if we observe we have to take total heat added minus heat added during the constant volume so we will take 1681 minus 1201.6 so it is 479.4 kJ per kg now we will move to the process 3 to 4 now when we move to the process 3 to 4 if we observe we have to calculate the temperature t4 so how to calculate this so we have the heat added during constant pressure this amount is 479.4 so how to calculate this that is the because of constant pressure we will take specific heat at constant pressure cp multiplied by the temperature difference now if we observe the temperature entropy diagram then t4 is greater than t3 so we will take t4 minus t3 and which is equal to this amount now we will put all the known values so only t4 is unknown so when we calculate we will get t4 is equal to 3090.2 kelvin we will calculate cut off ratio so cut off ratio is equal to v4 by v3 which is equal to t4 by t3 now the temperature at point 4 and temperature at point 3 is calculated so when we put the values it is 1.18 so this is the cut off ratio and its a notation is rc now we will move to the process 4 to 5 now for the process 4 to 5 how to calculate the temperature at point 5 so t4 by t5 is equal to v5 by v4 raised to gamma minus 1 so this is the relation in between temperature and volume now if we observe v5 value is not known as well as v4 is also not known but we have relation v4 by v3 as well as v1 by v2 and v5 is equal to v1 so if we observe this diagram then we can say that v5 is equal to v1 
Now we will multiply and divide V2 for this term. So V5 by V2 multiplied by V2 by V4 raised to gamma minus 1. Now we have V1 by V2. So instead of V5 we will put V1. So V1 by V2. And we also have relation V4 by V3. Now here V4 is present but V2. So we have to uh, uh, replace this V2. So if we observe here V2 is equal to V3. So we will put here V3 by V4. Now we have relation V4 by V3. So if I replace, the, if I transfer this term to the denominator, then I get V4 by V3. So V1 by V2 is R and V4 by V3 that is in the denominator RC. So R by RC raised to gamma minus 1. So it is 1.4 minus 1 that is equal to 0 0.4. So when we put the value, then we will get the answer 2.35. So, T4 by T5 is equal to 2.35. Therefore, T5 is equal to T4 divided by 2.35. So, T4 we have calculated. So, T5 is equal to 1314.9 Kelvin. Now, in the same way, we will calculate P4 and P5. So, P4 we have calculated. So, we have to take the ratio P4 by P5 is equal to V5 by V4 raised to gamma. Now instead of V5 by V4, we will take here R by RC. So this is the same process. So R by RC raised to gamma. So gamma is 1.4. So we have to take 10 divided by 1.18 raised to 1.4. So it is 19.92. So P5 is equal to. So P4 is mentioned in the question. So if we observe. The maximum pressure P3 is equal to P4 and which is equal to 70 bar. So we will take 70 divided by 19.92. So P5 is equal to 3.51 bar. So because this uh, pressure we have taken in bar. So same unit we have to transfer or we have to give for the pressure at point 5. Now we will calculate the heat rejected. If we observe this diagram, heat is rejected during the process 5 to 1. And this is the process with constant volume. So how to calculate this? So heat rejected during the process 5 to 1, we have to calculate. So which is equal to specific heat at constant volume multiplied by the temperature difference. So T5 minus T1. Now T5 we have calculated and T1 is mentioned in the question. So we have to uh, put the values. So we will get heat rejected that is 675.34 kilojoule per kilogram. Now how to calculate the efficiency of the dual cycle. So we have formula heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied. So heat supplied that means HS. So HS is mentioned in the question. So this is the total heat supplied during the process 2 to 3 plus 3 to 4. So this total heat supplied minus heat rejected. So heat rejected that means HR. So heat supplied minus heat rejected by heat supplied. So when we put the value we will get 0 0.5983. But efficiency is always in percentage. So multiply with 100. So 59.83%.